so Paul, our man, um, this is something I wanted to talk about tonight, guys. I get a lot of questions about this, and I know this is something that's extremely important um, to you guys and the new people in the adjunct program um, protocol shedding. Um, so I, uh, Paul said, so I have a lot of questions seeing people about the initial hair shedding, initial phase hair shedding when using the adjunct. Keep in mind that shedding hair is a normal phase and should be expected every day to shed hair. Uh, however, I did notice, like a lot of you, that in the first three weeks of using Adagen, my hair shed more than normal, and I was concerned. I asked John, um, and he told me that extra setting was a shot was a sign that Adagen is working. So I didn't worry about it at the time. I was shedding a good amount of hair that filled out most of my palm of my hand. Well, after a few weeks, that got less and less. And now I'm four months into using Adagen, I hardly have seen any extra hair shedding in almost three months. So don't get so don't get discouraged when this happens. You blow is a picture I took of this. Um, so instead of clumping my hair, Paul, now I have a few hairs, uh, in my finger. Okay. And these are other posts. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys. So you, you're not just taking my word for it. Yes, this is very normal. It will stop after a couple of weeks. Now it should level out around three or four. Um, you'll be glad at 90 days. Wanted to pile on the encouragement. Paul's post helped me, uh, tremendously. I'm approximately five weeks in and I'm seeing visible improvement. Um, Yes, it's normal. I noticed a lot of hair coming out in the, in the brushing over the first month. I'm also four months in and noticed minimal hairs coming out now. Trust in the process. You'll be amazed at where you are in 90 days. Um, I shed it from two weeks. Uh, I shed it from week two to maybe four or five, over 100 hairs in the morning. Now I'm down to under 10. Um, I can relate to your post so much. And this was also my question to worry about at the same time. Um, I'm, 100, I'm 1.5 months in. I completely stopped falling or loose hairs. Um, yet, yet you can find how grateful I am in my review. Okay. So. Guys, so I want to address this question about shedding. Um, and there's a couple things that are going on here. Um, shedding is, so first of all, guys, we all shed over 100 hairs naturally, normally, regardless. A person with completely thick, healthy head of hair sheds at least 100 hairs a day. We have over 100,000 100, hairs on our head. Um, so... The way that the hair follicle works, it's, there's three different phases of the hair cycle. And just like every other part of our body, the body regenerates. Um, and in seven years, every cell in our entire body will be replaced by a new cell. Okay. So the way that the hair cycle works is, um, you know, it sheds a hair and it produces a new hair. Um, and the antigen is the growth phase of the hair cycle. Um, but for that growth phase this, to, to start, it actually lets loose of the current hair uh, to produce a new hair. So the new hair pushes out the old hair. So when you start using adagen, um, I think that the shedding is 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 blown out of proportion a little bit because here's why. Um, when you start using something new, like let's say you buy a new car, there's a thing called your reticular activating system. And now you're more aware of that current thing. And now you're seeing this new car when you buy buy a new car and you see it everywhere. So that's part of it. You're paying more attention and you're looking now at the brushes and you're seeing hair coming out. So you're more aware of it. The second thing is you're also now using these brushes and you're exfoliating your scalp. And I'll show you how I do that later. But you're aggressively brushing your scalp, your hair, and you're taking all those, um, you know, normal hairs that would shed throughout the day. And you're seeing that happen at one time. So you're taking all the hairs that you shed normally in a day and you look down and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm losing all this hair. So those that's two reasons. But yes, there is there are some people that have a increase in shedding from using the adagen protocol. And what I and the reason why that is is the retin-A and the minoxidil can trigger a new antigen phase, a new antigen cycle of the hair phase or hair cycle. So when that happens, it um, it sheds the old hair and a new hair, a new hair bulb starts growing. Um, and that starts, you know, pushing out the old hair and, and within 90 days, 90 to hundred days, you'll see that progress. But around week three, you know, you can see from all these different, uh, picks. And if you just go in the group and, and search shedding, you'll be able to read a lot of different comments. But if you do see shedding and I had somebody comment and, and message me, one of my friends, um, around the three week mark three, you know, this says three and a half weeks, three weeks, uh, you know, around the three more three week mark, you may see an increase in shedding. And that is the best possible thing that you can see. Um, not that you need to shed to have great results, but if you see shedding, all that simply means is new growth is coming. Okay. Um, and the shedding will only last for two at the most three weeks. Um, and 
it's also really important to take progress pictures, monthly progress pictures or every two weeks, because the only way to truly track, objectively speaking, your progress is through pictures. So if you take pictures with the right lighting um, consistently, you'll be able to look at your pictures and, and, and see that even though you're having shedding, you really can't even notice it for the most part. But with that being said, if you are experiencing shedding around week three, it'll last maybe a week or two. Um, and a week or two of additional shedding, in my personal opinion, is worth a lifetime of freedom for hair loss. Um, and I think you'll see from all these posts and overwhelmingly speaking, everybody that's had these amazing results would say it is absolutely worth a, a little bit of an increase in shedding. If you even experience shedding uh, for two weeks to then go on to never have to worry about hair loss again. So that's what I would say about shedding. Um, it's it's normal. It's healthy. It's fine. It's not something to worry about. And you need to continue to be consistent uh, and to trust the protocol for 90 days. Um, and you will see results. So if you see shedding, it should happen around the three three week mark and it'll last a week or two. Um, worse, like, I mean, I don't think anybody really has had shedding for more than two weeks. Um, but um, like you like like Sarah says, trust in the process. You'll be amazed at where you are in 90 days. And some people, do, I would say the majority of people do not have shedding. Um, and Vince said, good morning. All I've been using is the Adagen product uh, for five weeks. My, my only concern is that I haven't been shedding at all. Even when I brush, I do this several times a day. I don't notice any hair. My hair is so much healthier now that it, that it, than it has been in a long time. Any reason for concern? So whether you're shedding or not shedding, it's not a reason for concern, but not everybody will have shedding. And I think the majority of people do not have shedding, even if they brush and they see more hair in the brushes, that is not necessarily shedding. Okay. So no, you do not need to worry about if you're not shedding, you don't need to worry about if you are shedding, what you need to worry about and focus your energy and efforts on is being consistent, uh, very, very consistent for 90 days of the protocol and you will have great results.